All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to print your mixes to a track as opposed to using the bounce to disk feature in Pro Tools. Um, if you're familiar with Pro Tools at all, uh, you probably know about the bounce to disk feature for exporting your final mix. Um, and how that works is basically once, uh, once you're done your mix, you select um, the section you want to bounce or you, you would select the whole song. Uh, and then you go to uh, bounce to disk here hit bounce, name the file, and then hit save. And what that's going to do is it's going to start playing the track and it's got to finish the entire selection um, for it to work. And if you, uh, if you realize you need to make a change or, or something, then you've got to stop and start it all over again. So here we go. Yeah, so I just canceled that. Um, again, can't change anything. You've got to stop and start all over if you want to uh, if you want to redo the mix bounce. Um, there's a much better way to do this though, and I'm going to show you how to set it up here. So the first step is going to be setting up your mix bus. So that means that instead of just using your main output one and two here, you're going to set up a, a bus for all of your tracks to go through. So I'm going to choose the last bus on your list here. You can use any, but I like to use the last one here. So I'm going to name that mix bus. Then I'm going to set all of my outputs on all of my tracks in the mix here to use that mix bus. So there we go. Um, but now if I hit play, you can see we don't hear any music. Um, that's because all of your tracks are going to mix bus, but nothing is accepting that signal and playing it out your speakers. So um, to, to uh, fix that, you got to make a new track. Let's use a aux input. I'm just going to name this my monitor track. Set the input to mix bus. And so now we can hit play and uh, we can hear our mix coming through again. You could All right, so now your mix bus is set up. Now, once once we're finished and we want to uh, bounce the mix, instead of using the bounce to disk feature, we're going to set up a new audio track and we're actually going to record it to that track instead. So let's create another new track, a stereo audio track, and I'm going to call that print. Oops. Also going to set that input to mix bus. So when we're bouncing the mix, uh, or printing the mix, sorry, uh, we don't need this monitor track on, so we're just going to mute that. All right, so now we're ready to, uh, to print our mix. So all we got to do is arm our track here, and then hit record. And uh, you can stop and start wherever you want, uh, and it's going to print your final mix to that track. So I'll just do a quick example here. You could unlock me out with fun. And uh, a huge bonus to this is that, uh, as you can see, I can still do whatever I want in Pro Tools here. So let's say as I'm bouncing, I remember that way up here, I needed to mute this, uh, this part. So I can do that while it's bouncing and I don't, have to, um, I don't have to wait till I get there and realize I made a mistake and then start all over. So already really useful, um, but even the more important thing about um, using a print track instead of bouncing to disk is that you can actually punch in on your mixes when it's time to make changes instead of having to um, sit through the whole song again. So let's say I just needed to meet this background part here, and that was the only change I needed to uh, make to the mix and I have to send that out to the client again. So rather than bouncing the entire song again, all I've got to do is punch in on that one little section on the mix, and then I can send that off, and it'll only take a few seconds as opposed to however long the song is. So if you've um, if you're familiar with Quick Punch mode or you've watched my other video video, you already know how to use Quick Punch. If not, um, just check out that video to learn about that. But I'm going to use Quick Punch to punch in on my mix. So here we go. There you go, really quick. 
I just needed to change that one little line. So I punched in on the mix, punched back out, and we're ready to go. So all you need to do to export your mix now is to select the track and consolidate it. Double click here to give it a name. So I'm just gonna call it mix one. Oops, sorry, mix two. And then you just need to export the file. Um, you can do that by using the keyboard shortcut um, Command Shift K. I'm not sure what it is on Windows. Maybe uh, Control Shift K, but someone can correct me on that. Um, choose your location that you want the file to go to, to be saved to here. I'm just going to use Desktop, and then hit Export, and you're done. Uh, so obviously that can be a huge time saver, especially if you're making changes for. Um, a whole record, like 10 songs, and you need to make a few small changes on each track. Um, rather than listening to all of those songs again, spending all that time, you can just um, punch in on the changes and be done with it. Um, so a really useful tip for anything from music to podcasting or whatever in Pro Tools. Um, so hopefully you guys find that useful if you didn't know about it already, and uh, hopefully you start using that in your future mixes. Thanks.